Well, the first thing we are going to do is we are going to select all cells and let's expand the sections and also show the code. So, as I mentioned before, this is a, a demo application developed by uh, Magenta, copyrighted by Google. And there is this Apache license. And here we have one paper. So let's take a look at this paper. So this paper is about the DDSP, Differentiable Digital Signal Process. And it will, will explain a bit about this um, different the DSP library and they will show some examples. So uh, I discussed a little bit this paper in our previous tutorial where I introduced this uh, DDSP library. So here they explain different uh, techniques and different um, DSP blocks that are part of this library. And here we have a general overview of an autoencoder that is used also in this example here. We will have to come back to this where we see we have a original and target audio. We have an encoder. Here we have the F0 block that calculates the um, fundamental frequency. We have here a block for loudness. We have a decoder. Then we have a block for harmonic audio and a block for filtered noise. And we're adding this tool, we're adding some reserve, uh, reverb. Here we have our synthesized audio. And here is the multi scale spectrogram loss. So this is a general architecture of an autoencoder that is uh, used here in this DDSP. And you don't need to have all these blocks. And in fact, you can have different types of encoders, different types of decoders. We have different DSP blocks that we can use. We have different losses. We have different effects. And we are going into a bit more detail when we start investigating here. So first is the install and import. They use here TensorFlow version 2. They install the DDSP library with pip and they ignore some um, warnings about deprecation here then we're importing some os time copy here we importing the ddsp the dsp training dsp collab utils so we have auto tune detect nodes play record spec plot we are importing gin we're importing also from Google Colab files. We're importing Librosa, Matplotlib, PyPlot, NumPy, Pico. Here we are defining the default sample rate. So it's taking care of importing packages and installing the DDS. So one first thing we are going to take a look is Gin. So if we go back here to the Magenta DDSP GitHub, then down here they say something about Gin. Gene library is a superpower of dependency injection. They find it very useful for their experiments, but uh, you need to be um, aware how to use it. So here is the gene GitHub. So github.com slash google slash gene config, and you find this link also here. And gene provides a lightweight configuration framework for Python based on dependency injection. So these functions and classes can be decorated with a gene configurable, allowing default parameter values to be supplied from a config file or passed via the command line using a simple but powerful syntax. So this removes the need to define and maintain configuration objects or write boilerplate parameter plumbing and factory code expanding a project's flexibility and configurability. So they will use Gene 